Hey skaters, thanks for tuning in. I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're staring Sophia Prosvenauer. She is a professional short track speed skater, and the reason I wanted her to share these dryland exercises is because I really believe that short trackers are some of the best people when it comes to building pressure right from the beginning of the stroke, and also they get really low in everything they do. And uh, this is a bunch of exercises that Sophia is doing quite often, and she's gonna tell you a little about what she thinks of them and why she's doing them. Uh, yeah, I do those exercises every morning before getting on ice, uh, because it's really good for warming up and uh, just to make sure your muscles remember the uh, skating position. I learned them in Russia, but also realized they do the same thing in the US, so <laughs> you can also practice them. It's really good for technical aspect of your skating. And this goes for short trackers, but also long track skaters, and especially inline skaters. We could all need to get a little lower and really focus on the technique before we get in the skates. The very first exercise is single leg squats. Looks simple, but it's very hard to do perfectly. Make sure to keep a steady rhythm as you go up and down. And also make sure your upper body is not going too high. So your shoulders should be in the same position all the time, not dipping to the side and especially not dipping up as you move the upper body up. Get really deep. Um, a good target or a goal could be to get the knee all the way down to the angle and almost touching the ground. As you can see, the arms are coordinated just as if you were out on the skates. Also make sure the leg that goes backwards, what we call the recovery leg, is going the same direction as the leg you have your weight on. Otherwise it can tilt your hips and shoulders and you're not going to be able to create speed on the skates. Here is a position weight transfer. So smoothly transfer your body weight from one leg to the other. And also make sure you're not lifting your body up in a vertical movement this should be horizontal only and have um, have a focus on getting your body weight all the way out there um, leading with the hip and once you're on one leg you should in theory be able to lift the other leg off the ground which you can try just to prove to yourself that if you have all the body weight on the working leg so slowly from side to side and feel the weight and the power transfer from one foot to the other. Here's a power load push, where at first you do a single head squat, as we see here, upwards. And then as you go down, you load that hip and prepare for a sideways movement. So it's basically a combination of the two previous exercises. So I definitely recommend you do it in this order that Sophia is showing you right here. Here's a classic, the skate jump. It's uh, kind of similar, it's the same focus points, but it's a little harder as you have to be snappy and also jump. And make sure you land low and also jump from a low position. Here is the wall push that kind of forces you to get an immediate pressure. So as soon as you put the leg or the foot into the ground, you start pushing. So keep leaning and keep pushing. Thanks all for watching this. Hope you want to subscribe and see you soon for a new video.